Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I have noticed that my videos do better when there's my voice in it. So like kind of a voiceover thing. So for my speed paints for a while now, I'm going to start doing voiceovers. Um, I hope it's not too much of a bother, but yeah, it seems that the performance is a little bit better when you guys can hear my voice. Anyway, today I am doing a fan art piece of Creepy from Growing Up Creepy, which is a show that I watched near religiously when I was a preteen. So I'm just going to give you guys like a quick rundown of what the show is and like why it meant so much to me as like a young goth kid that was still kind of discovering what kind of alternative person I was. Um, so yeah. Growing Up Creepy is an animated series made by Anthony God, Chris Woods, and Karen Greenberg, and produced by Mike Young Productions. It was just known as Creepy in other countries, and it ran from September 2006 to June 2008, and it had one season with 26 episodes, and it is a dark sci-fi educational horror comedy. So it touches on a lot of the stuff that you'd expect from kids shows like being a good friend and interacting with other people and stuff like that. But it also touched on um, I guess like anthropology. <laughs> so bugs. Uh, because the entire premise is that Creepy whose name is Creepola Creature, grew up in a family of anthropomorphic bugs. She was a, an abandoned infant on the Dweswald mansion, and the bugs took her in and raised her, and as she grew up, she had to learn how to interact with other human beings again, which took a bit, but eventually she started to get it. Um, so the school that she went to and the people that the humans that she was around were all like entomophobic, which means that they were very, very afraid of bugs. Um, and it kind of, it kind of played into her having a hard time with other people because she was raised by bugs and she really liked bugs and she had no issue like dealing with bugs and creepy crawlies and stuff like that but the people in the town did and it seemed like everybody in the town had an issue with it so there are the main characters are creepy creepy the creature she is a gothic preteen girl that was raised by bugs. She was born with multicolored hair and she comes off as really, really sassy and really snarky, but she's really just a sweet kid with a heart of gold. Uh, her mother is a praying mantis named Carolina and her father is a mosquito named Vinny. And those two are loosely, loosely based on Morticia and Gomez Adams, loosely. Uh, she has two brothers that she is constantly interacting with, Nat and Pauly. Um, her best friend is a chubby black boy named Budge Bentley, and her antithesis friend, so the friend that is her exact opposite in a lot of ways, is Chris Alice Holly Runner. She's a cheerleader, she's very preppy, she's does karate she she's like very high energy <laughs> um and then there's a bunch of other uh characters like parents and uh cutaway characters and characters that show up in like one episode and stuff like that and each episode had like this very specific niche that you would only find between 2006 and 2008. My 
favorite episode and the episode that comes into mind whenever I think about this show is the episode where this boy came into town, I do believe from the carnival, and he was known as the Spider Boy and Creepy had the biggest crush on him the minute that she saw him. She had like a major crush on him and she like was getting close with him and like trying to befriend him and trying to like move in and you know make her move as as teens tend to do and towards the middle or end of the episode it was revealed that he was just wearing a costume he was a goth kid wearing a spider costume for the show uh to convince people that he was a spider and it broke her heart she thought that she had found somebody just like her that was raised by bugs and considered themselves a bug as well and she was upset but I do believe they kind of reconciled as he was leaving the town um I'd have to rewatch it but it was such a good show um the other thing that I wanted to talk about was the music the music was gorgeous like truly truly good music for a show of that time and it's kind of music that we don't get anymore uh, in media, like not saying that current media has bad music, it has wonderful music, but we don't currently get the same kind of music that we did back then. Um, the the intro song and outro song were made by were I do believe performed by Samantha Lombardi. I don't know if they were written by her, but she did perform them. It's called Creepy Kids and Love You Love. Uh, intro and outro respectively also the composer for the in show music is guy michael moore i do believe it's it's michael moore i think um and this show only aired in two countries it aired here in the u.s and it aired in canada it was originally a canadian show i do believe and then kind of like came here after a little bit and then it kind of went to Australia after it was um after it was aired here and in Canada um but it aired on Discovery Kids which was one of the public access networks that I used to watch a lot as a kid um it was only public access for a very short period of time and then you had to have a cable box and it became a whole situation but it was what I used to watch even when we had cable either that or we were able to just siphon some cable for somebody I don't know I remember watching uh, watching it when we didn't have cable boxes and then watching it again when we did have cable boxes repetitiously um, Discovery Kids and PBS were like two of my big go-to channels um, I loved Nickelodeon, I loved Cartoon Network, but my two big go-to channels for cartoons was PBS and Discovery Kids. Um, I used to love watching those shows because it was, it was what you would watch when the sun was up, essentially. And I think I was talking to somebody about this the other day, I was like, oh my god, it's so weird that none of the good shows, the game shows, the the daytime, quote unquote, daytime dramas, stuff like that, none of it is aired during the daytime anymore. And it feels weird because I guess as you grow up, you kind of get that weird sensation of, wow, I'm actually growing up and this is strange because <laughs> now I can't watch my shows during the day because I'm working during the day and even on the weekends those shows are not on and then we have this like uptick of streaming services and it's just uh, it's a lot it's a lot emotionally um and mentally to kind of wrap your head around especially for somebody like me that has like neurodivergencies and whatnot that it's hard to wrap my head around that but back to the topic at hand I have always loved creepy I've had a like big heart for creepy and I am so glad that I decided to revisit this piece that I started in 2018 and then just 
couldn't bring myself to finish. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section. I am always taking suggestions on new video topics, new fan art pieces, and new things to teach you guys. I really appreciate your view. And if you want to, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Alright, have a good one guys. Bye!